Very interesting what's happened with chess. I don't know if you've been following chess. I loosely understand it, mainly because I've spoken to a lot of AI experts and they often reference chess as, yeah. as an example. Where it's one of the first things that humans did that we really cared about that fell. So they've been longer in the AI tractor beam than any of the rest of us in some sense. How did it fall? Through Deep Blue and IBM and Gary Kasparov. But does that mean that people, people aren't interested in chess anymore? What are you saying? No, no, no. That's the whole point. So Magnus Carlsen, the greatest chess player of our time and perhaps of all time, was on Joe Rogan. And Joe asked him the simple question, can your phone beat you? He's like, yeah, easily. So the point is we can't compete with, I don't know, Stockfish or whatever the top chess programs of our time I don't know anymore. But nobody cares about those programs except for AI experts. We care about the drama of, you know, Anand versus Carlson. Two humans. Two humans, because it's about us. We're, we're very narcissistic in this way. And so there was a period, and, you know, this is something that my wife uh, tried to popularize. So she said this thing about the golden age of AI complementarity, where the AIs aren't good enough to take over from us, but they're amazing tools. And so there's a period where we're teamed up, you know, the prompt engineering revolution. They're not good enough to come up with their own prompts. And a great example of this that she and I have been talking about is the cyborg chess era, which is a period where humans and the AIs could form teams that would do better. But at some point, the AI just looks at the human and says, you're just holding me back. You've got two children. Yeah. When they're thinking about their career prospects, with all that you think and know and believe about the future that we're heading towards, what, what kind of career advice would you be giving to them? Oh, I've given them terrible career advice. I, give them, I gave, gave them somewhat different career advice. So to my son, my, my advice was do the hardest, most technical thing you possibly can do and be prepared to use that ability, that facility, in different ways than you're you're honing it, but train yourself. With my daughter, um, I think she cares deeply about people.